Hi, second grade. Today we are going to go over our vocabulary strategy for the week, which is context clues. And this is the strategy that you are going to need to use for your cold read practice and your cold read test this week. So context clues is a skill that we use when we find an unknown word in a story we're reading. Now, if we know we remember the prefix un means not. So unknown words are words that we do not know the meaning of. So when you're reading and you come across words that you don't understand or you've never heard before, uh, one strategy could be to read that sentence and you can underline the unknown word, just so you remember which word it is that, you, that you're trying to figure out. Then think about what is happening in the sentence. Find other words that may explain the meaning of the unknown word which could be the sentence before some of the words in the sentence or after the unknown word. And then you could also try different words in place of that, un that unknown word to see if it still makes sense. So um, those are a few skills that we're gonna use on this cold read. Our genre this week is going to be myth. And if we remember, a myth is a made up story. It explains why things are the way they are and it has an important lesson or message. So this cold read practice is called Legend of the Blue Bonnet. I would like you to go ahead and take your cold read if you're working through this with me and number your paragraphs every time it indents. So every time it moves in and the text is farther in, that's the start of a new paragraph. You should have four on the front side and five on the back. One of our cold read strategies is to read the title, Legend of the Blue Bonnet, and look at the picture. So I want you to go ahead and notice this picture. Make observations about what you see. I see a girl. She's got hair in two braids. She's wearing some sort of dress or skirt. She's standing in a field, and I, I'm not exactly sure what's on the ground there but it does not look like just grass it looks like some sort of a plant though so based on those things you know you can go ahead and make predictions right now about what do you think legend of the blue bonnet is going to be about okay follow along with me as i read it says long ago in the land where the comanche people lived there was a terrible drought the drought was so bad that it had not rained for years. The Comanche needed water to live. The buffalo, which they hunted, needed water too. Without water and buffalo, the people were dying. Among the Comanche, there was a little girl named She Who Is Alone. The people had named her that when her family died in the drought. All she had left was a small doll. Her grandmother had made it out of buffalo skin. Her mother had painted the doll's face with berry juice. Her father had gathered blue jay feathers to decorate, decorate its hair. She who is alone slept with her doll every night. The leaders said, we will go to the top of the hill and talk with the great spirit. We will find out how to end this drought. The leaders came back the next evening. They gathered the people around the fire and announced, the great spirits want a sacrifice. They want something we value, something that is most important to us. Then the rain will come. Flip to the other side. Are you already making predictions? What do you think they might sacrifice? Sacrifice means give up something for someone else or give up something important to you to benefit or to do something for others. She who is alone looked at her doll. It was what she valued most. After everyone was asleep, she snuck out to the fire. She dropped her doll into the flames. She waited until the flames went out and the ashes from the fire were cold. She scooped them into her hands and she threw them to the winds. Then she who is alone went back to her teepee and slept. She awoke to the sound of rain. The ground was covered with blue flowers. 
who gave the, sac the sacrifice to the spirits? The people asked. It was I, said she who was alone. She looked around and smiled. The flowers are the same blue as the feathers in my doll's hair. From then on, the people gave her a new name, she who dearly loves her people. And every spring, beautiful blue flowers fill the Texas land. We call them blue bonnets. So if you remember, a myth is a made up story. So that was just a made up story. But a myth also tries to explain why things are the way they are. So that last paragraph said, and every spring, beautiful blue flowers fill the Texas land. We call them blue bonnets. So this myth is trying to explain why Texas has all these flowers called blue bonnets that appear in the spring. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go through a few of these questions. I'll read them to you with, and we'll talk about the context clues. What is the lesson of this story? Do you think the lesson is A, love your doll? B, people need water to live. C, you can help others by giving. Or D, plant flowers, plant flowers to make the land beautiful. Number two, read this sentence from the story. The drought was so bad that it had not rained for years. What does drought mean in the sentence above? So I'm going to go ahead and underline the word drought. That was one of our strategies. And now this is a context clues question. So I am going to look at the words around the word drought to see if it, I can figure out what that means. The drought was so bad that it had not rained for years. Okay, so I'm already figuring out that a drought's not a good thing. Bad, and it said had not rained. So that's another clue. So I'm going to try and use those two clues to see if I can figure out what this means. Does drought mean a dark cloud? The dark cloud was so bad. Does a drought mean a long time with no rain? The long time with no rain was so bad that it had not rained for years. Maybe. A time when people get sick. The time when people get sick was so bad that it had not rained for years. No, that does not make sense. To me. An area of land that is very dry. The area that was dry was so bad that it had not rained for years. Okay, I don't think it's dark cloud. So it's either, it's either a long time without rain or it's an area that's dry. Drought was so bad that it had not rained for years. I also see the word years, so it's talked about. So I am going to make the best guess I can based on these clues that drought means a long time without rain. The long time without rain was so bad that it had not rained for years. So you can go ahead and on the context clues ones, you can do something similar. You can underline the word you're looking for. You can look back in the sentence as many times as you need to, and then you can make your marks and try and think through which ones you can automatically cross off and which ones you might, you might still need to go back to. What do you learn about children from the story? Children can make it rain. Children need grown-ups. Children can do important things. Children should give away their dolls. Okay, what do you think the biggest lesson is? Number four, read this sentence from the story. They gathered the people around the fire and announced the great spirits want a sacrifice. What does announced mean in the sentence? Hey, they gathered the people around the fire and announced the great spirits want a sacrifice. Do we think that means that they said something to many people at once? That they asked in a quiet voice? that they sang a song or that they hit a drum. So I see, I'm picturing in my head all these people around the fire and they brought everyone in so everyone could hear. 
And then this is what they said, the great spirits want to sacrifice. So announced, it doesn't say anything about singing. I don't see any clues about a drum. It didn't say anything about volume or about whispering, but it did say that we saw quotation marks. So we know that they're saying something and it did say that they gathered the people. They had everyone around. So to me, that does tell me that there are more than one people. So we're gonna say announced means said something to many people at once. Five. What do you learn about being a part of a group from the story? People live to A, people live together in groups. B, being part of a group is harder than being alone. C, if you do something at night, do not wake up the group. Or D, it can be more important to think of the group than to think only of yourself. Number six. Read this sentence from the story. They want something we value, something that is most important to us. Which word in the sentence helps the reader understand what value means? Another context clues. They want something we value, something that is most important to us. Okay, so I'll let you go ahead at your house. If it's something you, they value, and we know that the girl valued her doll. Do we think that value, do we think that the word that helps us understand value would be important? Something, us, or want? Which word helps tell us what value means? Think about it. The girl really loved her doll and that's what she valued and she was willing to give that sacrifice it for the, the good of the people. Number seven, how does the girl most likely feel at the end of the story? So most likely, which means make your best prediction based on what we read and what you already know. Do you think at the end she felt excited, lonely, proud, or sorry? Go back to the end for text evidence and see if you find any clues around the sentence about the girl. Number eight, read this sentence from the story. And every spring, beautiful blue flowers fill the Texas land. Which meaning of spring is the same one used in the sentence above? All right, they brought back multiple meaning words for us. And every spring, beautiful blue flowers fill the Texas land. Does that spring mean to leap? Every time you leap, beautiful flowers fill the Texas land. No. To come from the time of year after winter or water that comes from the earth. I'll let you answer the rest. Number nine, read this sentence from the story. She waited until the flames went out and the ashes from the fire were cold. What does ashes mean in the sentence above? Okay, so you have to pick which one of these you could replace and put in where this word ashes is. Does that ashes mean smoke, hot sticks, cooked food, or bits of burned wood? Number 10, what do you learn about being brave from the story? The F, brave people are big and strong. G, you cannot be brave when you are alone. H, you cannot be brave if you are feeling afraid. Or I, sometimes you must be brave to help others. All right, that is the end of your practice cold read. If you have additional questions or need anything, remember that you could you can contact one of your teachers and we will do our best to help you through it. All right, great job. Keep up the great work.